Hello learners, welcome to Cash Education. In this video, we will see a second format of a research poster. So here I have the title on the top and the pattern of putting the content is different. I have three headings, introduction, objectives and methodology aligned vertically. There is conclusions, discussions and acknowledgements are aligned horizontally. On the bottom, there is the references part which I will show you how to introduce. And in the center or in the corner, this edge, you have your results. So here you can highlight many results. This is the advantage of this format. I have shown four. You can include five or six also. Let's see how to draw it. Take a fresh new slide. Under insert, select the basic rectangle shape. And draw the rectangle. Remove the shape outline and give it your desired color. I'll go to insert again and I'll choose a rectangle for putting my subheadings. I'll draw the rectangle this way. Remove the shape outline and I'm going to give it this color. Now I'll put the font of the start. I have kept all my fonts ready. So I'm going to copy and paste it. Fair enough. This has been pasted. And for the others also, I have the things ready. So here I have pasted my introduction. You can have the introduction as big, as small as you like. That's entirely your choice. Now I'm going to duplicate the same rectangle. I'm going to place them vertically. And increase the size of the last rectangle. What is that for? That is for the methodology. I have pasted the font here. I usually keep my fonts ready because it's easier and quicker. But I'll show you what font I'm using. So you can use the same one if you like it. Now I'm going to duplicate the text boxes that I'll need for putting the other subheadings and here they are. I'll paste the relevant font also. And I'll adjust them. I will shift them to align with my text box and the rectangle. You can have the acknowledgements bigger if you like. Many times you have more people to thank and that's completely normal. Okay, now I have my whole middle section ready for the result. I'm going to go to insert. Under the shapes, I'm going to choose the same rectangle. I'm going to begin drawing it. So this way. I'm going to remove the shape outline and give the shape color that I like. So you see there's a whole good section for your results. Now I have the results ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of them. So I was trying to select them all but then they are grouped. That's why I will select them individually. Okay, so I'll copy them and I'll paste them. Okay, so here I've got my results also. You see there's so many, so much space still here and you can introduce a fourth or fifth one also. Sometimes one result is going to be shorter like HNE staining may not require that much explanation but just a picture. So then you can have more results. The last part as I told you was for the references and I have the text ready. I'll copy them and I'll paste them. So here you see that our format is completely ready. So this is a very easy to make format. All you have to do for once is customize one thing. So first you use the rectangle or make the rectangle. Then you introduce the intro, uh, then you put the introduction and then you put the required information for it. Then you can keep copying the same effect to other boxes also. Okay, I'll show you what fonts I've used. 
for the heading i've used your museo font it's free to download from the internet and it's very professional looking also for the subheadings i've used the agency fb font which is inbuilt in microsoft word and i've kept the spacing a little loose so it does not appear crowded and for the information that i've used to fill i've used euphemia and euphemia is again an inbuilt font so you can use all of them and prepare your poster so this is how the final is going to appear it's very easy give it a try let me know in the comment sections how it works out see you again next time like my video subscribe to my channel thank you